Pro Football Focus's number one rated center in the country last week, Louisiana Raging Cajuns, Landon Burton on Locked on Sunbelt. You are Locked on Sunbelt, your daily podcast on the Sunbelt Conference, part of the Locked on Podcast Network, your team every day. All right, welcome back to another edition of Lockdown Sunbelt, your team every day. I'm your host, Dave Schultz. Thanks to everybody who has been subscribing. The audio downloads are uh, significantly increased, so that's uh, sincerely appreciated. Continue to uh, subscribe in YouTube uh, as well. All right, today on the podcast, Louisiana Raging Cajun Center, Landon Burton hops on. As I mentioned in the open, Pro Football Focus rated him the number one center in the country last week in the Cajuns' 38-31 to loss against Old uh, Dominion. We talk about his journey from uh, St. Thomas More, local high school here in Lafayette, to preferred walk on to being on scholarship to being the Raging Cajuns starting center. Uh, he talks about recovering from a broken foot, whether he prefers pass blocking or run blocking. Uh, and then we go after his older brother a little bit. Lyndon is my co host and producer on 1033 The Goat here in Lafayette, afternoons 3 to 6 p.m. Sports chat. Uh, we have a little fun at his expense. So it's a good conversation. We're talking uh, Sunbelt football. He is the Louisiana Raging Cajun starting center, Landon Burton. Dave Schultz back on another edition of Lockdown Sunbelt, your team every day. We're talking with uh, the center of the Raging Cajuns football team, Landon Burton. Landon was ranked by Pro Football Focus as the top center in the country this past week against ODU. When someone told you about that, Landon, what were you thinking? And, and thanks very much for hopping on the podcast. Yeah, uh, yeah, no problem. Appreciate you for having me on here, Mr. Schultz. But uh, I was I was actually in class and uh, doing some work, and uh, I just got a notification over my phone. Actually, one of my friends had uh, like sent it to me. He was like, "Did you know you were on this?" I was like, "No," and like my heart just kind of dropped. I was like, just really happy, and uh, it was just really exciting moment for me. I mean, it's one thing if you were, you know best center in the Sun Belt, and that's still pretty good right but that's right. not what this was this was across the entire country last week I mean is that something that you follow or you know someone had to tell me that uh that's really impressive congratulations thank you thank you no I, I definitely uh I definitely like to keep uh keep my wits about like who's doing well in my position you know around the country and uh you know I try to measure up to those guys you know try to be one of those top guys you know all right, so let's let's go through the story because you're a hometown kid, right? You went to STM, right? A walk on. Tell it. Tell us how you ended up uh, playing for the Raging Cajuns. So uh, back in 2019, I was graduating, and uh, I only had like one offer, and it was to Jackson State. Uh, I think it wasn't Dion at the time; it was the coach prior to him, right? And uh, Coach Napier at the time was the head coach over here, and he uh, he actually came to my school the last week like around like one of the last weeks of like the recruiting process. And he was like, I'm not going to lie to you, Landon. Uh, he like him. And I think it was actually him, coach Dez, uh, him, coach Dez and coach Leje were there. Hmm. And uh, he, they came up to me and they were like, we're not going to lie to you. We like you a lot, but we just out of scholarships for uh, your position. Cause I think coming in to my freshman year, we had around eight to nine guys already on scholarship. So it was a pretty heavy, like deep recruiting class right there. But they told me they were like, yeah, we really like you a lot. We think you're a good player. And he's like, if you just give us a chance to, you know, come in and be a walk on, you're going to be a preferred walk on. So he gave me a PWO, a little bit different than a regular walk on. And uh, he was like, if you bust your butt, like work your tail off, like we know you will. He's like, you're going to be a very good player for us one day. And so I just kind of did what they said, came in, worked my butt off. Uh, you know, like I was a scout team guy for three years freshman year, redshirt freshman year, and even redshirt sophomore year, uh, scout team guys. So I was constantly getting uh, reps from the, the best guys across the ball, you know, the ones and the twos, like Zion Hill and Sauce, uh, Taylor Humphrey. So yeah. they were yeah, constantly, you know, I, I, I would say they were kicking my butt at the time, so. <laughs> <laughs> making me better. But, you know, everything is happens for a reason. So I just kind of went with it. Uh, I've had some great mentors in Shane Vallow, David Hudson, and uh, Cole Prudham. And uh, Luke Junkins, so I really just followed their lead. I was like a sponge, absorbed all the information they did and uh, just kind of waited my turn. And now it's here, and I just want to take advantage of the opportunity. When were you put on scholarship? Uh, I was put on scholarship 
last year going into the summer, but I had, uh, unfortunately, I broke my foot uh, during that time. So uh, Coach Dez had, uh, he he took my scholarship to give it to somebody else that was, uh, who's deserving of it, of course, you know. And he told me, he was like, this isn't a knock on you or anything. He's like, you're going to be our guy. We just want you to focus on getting healthy right now. So eventually put me back on scholarship towards the end of the season. And I've been on scholarship ever since. Uh, we're talking with Landon Burton, uh, the, uh, the the center for the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. Uh, I'll tell my listeners, if I do call him Lyndon, it's only because Lyndon is my producer on 103.3 The Goat. And Lyndon is his his older brother. Uh all right, so we see those videos on, on these guys getting getting the scholarship. Did they do that for you? Because we always see the, the guys jumping on top of the player getting the scholarship, but really we need to see the parents are the ones jumping up for, up and down. That They're the ones who are getting the relief. Right? Right. <laughs> yeah, it was definitely a big relief for my mom. She was probably the most excited. <laughs> I'm sure yeah. it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, so, uh, no, nah, but Coach Dez, he, he did it a little more professional. He brought me into his office. He was like, Landon, you're a great guy. I just want you to know you're officially on scholarship. And we kind of had a personal moment. And so I'll never forget that between me and Coach Dez. Very cool. All right, so what would you say the differences are – uh, between Billy Napier and Mike Desimo? Um, I feel like Coach Des, I, I don't, I'm not going to say I don't feel like Coach Napier didn't care about his guys because he definitely does. But Coach Des, I just feel like we have a better uh, personal relationship. Hmm. Like Coach Des is definitely a, a player's coach. He asks, asks, comes up to me every day in stretch line. He's like, all right, big fella, let's go. Time to get the boys ready for today. You know, let's have another good day of practice. And like, he'll just be walking around practice uh, all day. Uh, talking to us, uh, asking us how we're feeling, how we're doing, you know, keeping in touch with his players, really. Well, that point came across a couple of weeks ago because, you know, the devastating news about Mason Narcisse's father passing away, and it was Coach Desimo, you know, Mason's mother called Coach Desimo, and Coach was the one to tell him that he had to go home because his father was moving uh, into hospice. I mean, you know, we hear, you know, that Coach speak, we're a family, and you guys can come and tell us anything, but in this case... You know, no, Desimo, cool. Coach Desimo had to, had to tell the most, the worst news that you can give a kid. You know, it's one thing to tell him you're out for the season or, or something along those lines, but to, right. to tell, a, you know, a young man that he's losing his father and you need to go and you can't, you're not going to play in the game, basically. Uh, that, that really tells you a lot about Mike Desimo and, and, and what Mrs. Narcisse thinks is of Coach Desimo because she couldn't do it. She trusted the coach to pass along that, that kind of news. Right. Yeah, no, for sure. Uh, I actually was just talking to Mason uh, whenever we were going out to practice a couple of while ago and I was, you know, asking him like, hey, man, I hope everything's all right. Definitely been praying for you. I just wanted to give you your space at the time. And he was telling me, he was like, yeah, I'm, I really appreciate you. You know, uh, it's been a tough situation for me at home. I was like, yeah, I just you just got to be strong for the both of y'all right now and keep continue to pray to God. But he said Coach Dez was blowing up his phone every day, like making sure he's OK. So I really respect Coach Dez for that. So a little bit of advice for you. So everyone's going to make sure he's okay, you know, mm -hmm. in the next, you know, the, the past, you know, it happened a couple of weeks ago and, you know, making sure he's okay this week, check up on him in a month or so when everybody else has stopped checking in on him, make sure he's doing okay. All right. That, that's the key uh, for something along these lines. All right. Let's, let's pick it up a little bit uh, on a brighter note. It's Landon Burton on Lockdown Sunbelt, your team every day. He's the Raging Cajun Center ranked number one by a pro football focus this past week. What? Uh, how have you improved as, as a team? You said you were getting your butt kicked by some of these really good Raging Cajuns defensive linemen. How have you improved your game? I've uh, Over the summer after I broke my foot, I, it was a heavy emphasis to try to get back to where I was. So I'll give, I give all the credit to those guys in the training room, Chris Litt, Andrew, uh, and uh, Miss Katie. They definitely have done a great job helping me get back to this point. And then it was just extra work with uh, – Coach Connor, uh, uh, Coach Bonesaw and his staff just uh, getting me back up to speed. You know, I would go in and do extra lifts. Uh, over the summer, whenever we had our little break in May, I was always up here doing footwork drills, ladder drills, uh, running, all type of O-line, O-lineman work. So I just really credit his staff, and uh, I really credit the athletic training room staff. And, of course, uh, Coach Norrit, he was always there for me. He was telling me, he was like, hey, man, you uh, we don't think you've taken a step back in any way. He was like, he constantly gave me drills to do because he actually, Coach Norwood had the same injury as I had. So he kind of knew what I was going through a little bit. And he was 
reminded me each and every day. He was like, yeah, the pain's going to end. Everything's going to end. You're going to be a good player for us here. He's like, you just got to remember that as you're working out and going through the deal. All right, let's take a time out. When we come back, we'll talk more with uh, Raging Cajun Center Landon Burton about how to stay in shape while you are nursing a, a broken foot back to health. In the meantime, let's talk to you a little, about, a little bit about eBay Motors. Passion, drive, and patience. What brings home the winning trophy is also what keeps your ride or die alive. eBay Motors has everything you need to maintain your vehicle and to level it up to peak performance. From superchargers, roof racks, exhaust kits, LED headlights, and more, whether you're into speed, power, or style, eBay Motors has got you covered. With over 122 million parts for your number one ride or die, you'll always find exactly what you're looking for. And with eBay Guaranteed Fit, your part is guaranteed to fit your ride every time or your money back. Because with eBay Motors, you're burning rubber, not cash. With all the parts you need at the prices you want, it's easy to turn your car into the MVP and bring home that win. Keep your ride or die alive at ebay.com slash motors. eBay Guaranteed Fit, only available to U.S. customers, eligible items only, exclusions apply. All right, Dave Schultz, Lockdown Sunbelt, your team every day. Let's get back to it with the Louisiana Raging Cajun starting center, Landon Burton, about recovering from his foot injury last year. All right, so as somebody who broke their foot, uh, <laughs> how did you stay in shape? Because really hard to do aerobic exercise, you know, to, to work up a sweat. What did what did they have you doing? I was, honestly, I was constantly riding, like, the, the bike, uh, the uh, okay. workout bike. That was one thing right. we did. Uh, me and Chris Litt, the athletic trainer, would go out to the pool. We'd swim laps once my foot got a little more uh, healed and uh, strong enough to do that, of course. So swimming and uh, riding the bike were the two oh, main things. Yeah. And, I, of course, is... I had to watch what I was eating. <laughs> that was right. probably the toughest thing, honestly, the diet and everything. That is an issue. What is your favorite food? Oh, man. Uh, definitely some good old Southern-style rice and gravy with uh, probably, like, some smothered pork chops or something. <laughs> Is that Mama? Is that Mama Burton's specialty? Yeah, it is. It is. <laughs> you know, she definitely could cook a mean rice and gravy. <laughs> there you go. We're talking to Landon Burton, uh, locked on Sun Belt, your team every day. Uh, all right, let's talk about you know the offensive line played much better week number two than they did week number one. You guys had issues against Northwestern State. What were you focused on uh, working on? And and you guys really did a better job. I thought you know the running game wasn't as explosive, but I thought it was more consistent against ODU. Yep. So uh, going into uh, last week's practice, it was really a main focus that we, the O-line, took personally. Like, excuse me, we cannot let anybody touch our quarterback. So pass protection was definitely a big focus going into last week. And uh, we knew that we were going to be tested because we had showed some, uh, you know, some uh, defects in our pass protection. So we were expecting heavy games and uh, we really practiced games and uh, all types of pressures all week. And in the run game, we just knew we had to take a step up like, we're like we have if we want to be a dominant running team and open up our passing game, then that all starts with us up front. And we kind of just took that challenge head on. And uh, me and the other guys up front, we took it personally. And we feel like we lived up to that challenge last week. And we're hoping to do the same thing coming up here for UAB. All right. So as far as I'm concerned, I could be wrong, but it feels like the offensive line is the one unit that actually has to work uh, together. Right. The wide receivers kind of all complement each other. The defensive backs all have to be on the same page. But for the most part. You know, the the offensive line isn't on the same page. You know, right. someone's losing yardage somewhere along the way. Uh, right. So now, we, you know, George Jackson has been filling in at right tackle. Quentin Williams is coming back, whether that's this week uh, against a UAB or, or you know, shortly thereafter. He's been out a couple of weeks, expected back this week. How do you work in the new guy? How does he catch up to what you guys have been doing the last couple of weeks? Well, you know, Quentin is not really a new guy to say. He's definitely been right. around. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Like, it was going to be his job, but he was out. He was out for camp, and he hasn't played the first two weeks. But you're correct, right? Yeah, no, like you said, he was out for camp, and he was out for the first two weeks. So it's definitely like a little slow grind getting him back in there working with us. But honestly, at practice, he looks like he hasn't missed a beat. He's been definitely knows the pass protection, like the scheme, really well. He's just uh, we're kind of just rust, uh, knocking off the rust off of him a little bit uh, with him right now. But George Jackson has definitely stepped up to the plate and done everything he can to fill in that role and be a dominant right tackle. You prefer to pass block or run block? <laughs> uh, honestly, whatever coach calls. I, we just no, 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 I'm not putting up with that. No, 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 no. <laughs> what do you prefer to do? Yeah. 
or I'll, I'll ask you because then I can follow up with the coach. Which are you better at? What do you think you're better at? Uh, I feel like I'm better at uh, pass blocking personally. I feel like I'm a pretty good pass protector. And so you need to work on the on the run protecting just to, or you know run blocking a little bit. Okay. Yes. Yeah. All right. See, that's not bad. See, that's an easy question. I'm not whatever the coach calls. I'm not asking what you want to call. I'm asking what you. Yeah. Prefer, what you I got what you. you I got you. To, what you prefer to do. All right. One more time out. When we come back, we'll wrap up our conversation with Louisiana Raging Cajun Center, Landon Burton. Uh, he talks about getting ready for each team separately week to week, how to prepare, talks about his future plans, going pro or coming back to school. And we tease his older brother, Lyndon, who is my co-host and producer about his uh, basketball prowess in real life and in the video games, NBA 2K. Let me tell you about Jace Medical. The Jace case provides five life-saving antibiotics for emergency use. All it takes to get a Jace case is fill out a simple online form and in some cases, jump on a quick call with one of our board-certified physicians. Get on care, get ongoing care from our physicians on any treatment-related questions. Doctor created, doctor recommended. Don't be caught unprepared. Everyone should be empowered to care for themselves and their loved ones during the unexpected. Jace handles everything. From online evaluations to licensed pharmacy medication delivery and ongoing consultation and care. Jace Medical is simple. You go online, fill out a form, and then you get the prescription, life-saving medications, right to your door. The Jace case gives you peace of mind so that you're not just just hoping that you have access to the medication in emergency, but you do. Jace Medical makes sure you have the medication in hand. Save more than $360 by getting these life-saving antibiotics with Jace Medical, plus an additional $20 off by using my code Locked On at checkout on jacemedical.com. That's J-A-S-E medical.com. All right, let's wrap things up with Landon Burton. Is it Dave Schultz, Locked On Sunbelt, your team every day? Uh, he talks about, you know, uh, getting ready for each team week to week talks about what he may or may not may or may not be doing next year. Uh, he is graduating in the spring, so he may have a chance to go pro. And then we have a little bit of fun at my producer uh, from Sports Chat on 103.3 The Goat, Lyndon, his older brother at his expense. Is he really as good at NBA 2K as he says? Uh, it is Landon Burton uh, from the Louisiana Raging Cajuns. All right, we're talking to Landon Burton, a lockdown Sunbelt your team every day. All right, so when you go from team to team to team, you know, how much can you guys change based on what the other guys are doing? You know, we see sometimes, you know, professionally, they they do a totally different game plan because they can do it, you know, they can work on it eight hours a day and you guys can't. You get to work on it like two and a half hours a day, uh, right. at least practice-wise. How much is is there a specific thing that you guys are doing from week to week to week, depending on who you're playing? So it all starts like with the front that we're going against. So last week we were predominantly odd front. So we had to work on our uh, push zones a lot. And uh, now we're facing a four, mainly four down front this week with you as in UAB. So, but luckily during fall camp, we work both. So we, we kind of like call it over here. We put some things on the shelf for later. So we definitely have some things that we're pulling off the shelf this week to get ready for UAB that we have worked on, fortunately through fall camp, like through for our, for our defense, giving us multiple looks every day. How difficult is it, you know, to play these teams that, you know, it's one thing for a, like a Buffalo or Minnesota, but, you know, you haven't played ODU, right? They've never played Cajuns right. and ODU. I don't know the last time that the Cajuns played UAB. It's different if you're playing Texas State or Arkansas State or ULM, unless there's a coaching change. How how much work, how much different work is put in when, you, when you're playing a UAB that you just haven't faced or an ODU that you haven't faced yet? The sense of urgency is definitely uh, picked up a little bit because we really like, you know, we never played them, like you said. So we are uh, we're going out there to practice, uh, practicing looks, possible looks, uh, looks that we might get that we may not get. But we still have to practice them, you know, just in case they do bring it. So it's definitely a, a sense of urgency as to getting ready for their defense. Uh, and that being that we haven't faced them, it's definitely going to put up certain challenges. But I think that we're doing a good job in preparation in order to get ready for them to face those challenges that they do present. All right, a couple more questions for Landon Burton, Lockdown Sunbelt, the Louisiana Raging Cajun Center. All right, what are the plans? You, you, uh, you're you in your fifth year. You have another year of eligibility. You're graduating next spring. 
Uh, do you plan on coming back? Are you going to look to go to the pros? I mean, if, if I was ranked the number one center, all of a sudden, you know, a little buzzer would go off in my head. Mm, if, if I'm being rated, then maybe some other people are looking at me. What, what, are, the, what are the tentative plans now? Because obviously things can change in a hurry. Yeah, right now it's just uh, honestly focusing on UAB and honestly uh, getting my, me and my guys ready to take this next step into UAB. That's really all I'm focusing on right now. I haven't really looked. I mean, the outside noise is nice. I, I like the, you know, I'll, I'll take the congratulations and everything, but our next opponent is UAB, and that's not going to, like, they don't care if I'm the number one ranked center, if I'm the number, like, if I'm the last ranked center, you know what I mean? Yeah, but I mean, so, I mean, I mean, the guys with the accounting, well, I'll tell you this. The guys who are majoring in accounting right now are interviewing for jobs really soon. All right. My, I may, I roomed with a ma- uh, accounting major and he had a job in like October, November while mm. I was scrounging. I mean, you have to have an idea what you're thinking about. Are you thinking about coming back for another year or are, are, are we going to wait to see how the process plays out? No, I'm definitely thinking about coming back. And okay. uh, my personal goals, obviously, is to it, try my best to get to the uh, National Football League. Sure. But uh, like I said, right now, I'm just kind of focused on UAB and getting better each week for my team. Yeah, all right, so now we'll bring Lyndon into the conversation. Lyndon is my uh, producer. He does not lack confidence. Uh, he he hosts he co-hosts the show with me and my producer on 103.3 The Goat. First of all, he claims that he let you win uh, in an NBA 2K basketball game. Is there any truth to that? I mean, I guess you could say he let me win. but Well, he said, he said your mom made him <laughs> let you win. Is that true? Yeah. Uh... Ah, nah, the, the, the details get sticky. It's was like, it was ten or twelve years ago, but I don't uh, remember my mom letting me win. So that, then there's a basketball game where somewhere along the way you became bigger than he did. He claims he was a baller when he was younger. He could play some hoops, but then all of a sudden you got bigger, and he goaded you into taking outside shots, and he still beat you because you couldn't hit an outside <laughs> shot. Any truth to that rumor? I definitely had a little jumper on me. I'm going to squash that one right here. I definitely right. had a little jumper on me. So he couldn't leave me too wide open. But okay, my, 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 my shooting definitely needed a little work back then. Got it. Got it. And he claims uh, he's an NBA 2K. Uh, he said he was ranked, if that's a thing, in the state of Louisiana. Uh, and he is ready to take on anybody uh, uh, <laughs> on the team. Who does anybody? I'm sure someone's playing NBA 2K on the Raging Cajuns. We need to have some sort of promotion where your brother is just playing everybody at the same time, like some chess master or something. <laughs> yeah, he claims to be the best at 2K, but I don't know. I think the years might have got to him. I, I think we got oh. some young guys on the team that will may, maybe maybe do him in a little bit. Like, oh, you know? all right. <laughs> all right. Be interesting. What, what It'll be interesting who Landon Burton is cheering for, if he's cheering for his brother or if he's yes. cheering for his raising Cajun teammates. We'll put you on the spot. Hey, put me on the spot. I don't know. I, I, gotta, I haven't seen him play in a while, so I don't know what he what he got uh, got no more. You know what I mean? <laughs> All right, he is he is Landon Burton. He is the uh, Louisiana Raging Cajun Center on Lockdown Sun Belt. Your team every day. Thank you so much for hopping on the podcast. Uh, congratulations on being ranked the number one center by Pro Football Focus in the country last week. And best of luck, best of luck against UAB. Thank you so much, Landon. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mr. Schultz, for having me on. I appreciate your time and everything.